welcome back to the channel elevate your energy and this is going to be a um, monthly reading for whichever sign we have next in the meantime the spirit guides the highest white light the highest evolved ancestors higher self please come through this reading at this time we will be a channel for clear accurate honest messages for whichever sign i'm reading for next for their highest best possible good all these signs that I'm rolling so far, I've already done. So I keep rolling till we get one that I haven't. Aquarius has come through twice already, trying to infiltrate another read, guys. So is Cancer. The second time Cancer has come up in these four rolls that I've gotten. Gemini. Let's see. Have I done Jimmy yet? No, we have not done Gemini. So Gemini, this will be a reading. So spirit, oh, let's get an accurate, honest, clear, direct message for the Geminis. Please. What do they need to know? What do you want them to focus on for now, I am recording this for April. However, whenever you come across this reading, um, if you have Gemini placements, this reading can resonate. Those are intentions that I set for all of my readings when I do them. So I date them um, as that's when I'm recording it, but these can resonate whenever you come across them. So, so what do you want Gemini to focus on? Starting already, Gemini's, um, we have rebirth and inner wisdom, all right? So, spirits definitely say you guys are going through a rebirth at this time. Um, there's things that are obviously probably falling away um, to make room for new, right? Especially given that we are coming out of the spring energy. I feel like some of you are coming out on the, in, uh, the tail end of this, all right? Um where your things are, I feel like, looking a lot different than they maybe once did a few months ago, maybe a couple years ago. Things are looking very different now. And I feel like you guys are um, tapping more into your inner wisdom, into your higher self at this time, okay? Um, if you haven't, this is Spirit asking you to do so, okay? Spirit's asking you guys to really tap into your inner wisdom, your inner knowing. And given that you're an air sign, that's heavy indication of the higher knowledge right the ethers the that's the air energy the space right space ethers the cosmos our higher self energy right so spirit's asking you guys to really tap into that energy this month um, i feel like it's it's like if you're not used to meditating and you know taking that time to go within and really just connect and see what comes to you this is that time where spirit's asking you now it's the time we need to start doing that or we need to meet if you don't have a practice um for connecting to your higher self this is spirit asking you this month to this is the time that you know whatever however we used to do things that has fallen away now it's time to read you know do things in a whole different way and that's the energy i feel like you guys are in this month really allowing yourself to tap into that inner wisdom that inner knowledge that inner knowing um this month i feel like it's really going to be beneficial for you that's where your new ideas come from. That's where your like solutions to our challenges come from. But we gotta allow ourselves that time to really, you know, tap in, right? Start what else for this month, for April, for Gemini's, for April 2022, for Gemini. Be bold and mighty forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. Absolutely. And then we have dreamer. Your dreams have chosen you. Find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny. This is the magic of life. So yeah, this is, this, it makes sense. I feel like you guys are going through this rebirth energy where you're coming into your own. I'm hearing you're coming into your own and what you're supposed to be doing in this lifetime. And I feel like we're, for some of you, it may be kind of confusing. You may be still trying to figure out and get clear about what that looks like, what that path, what that journey really entails. This is the energy where spirit's asking you guys to really tap into your inner wisdom because it's all within. We, we have it already encoded within us what our destiny looks like what the path is laid out for us you know as far as like <clears throat> what we're supposed to be doing in this lifetime what we're supposed to um create how we're supposed to help the collective all that the free will obviously plays its part as well but i'm saying the the i guess the overall blueprint of everything 
that's already been written. So this is that energy of really allowing yourself to tap into that at this time, to really take time to tap into what your dreams are, what they are for you, you know, what your passions are, what you're trying to create, what you're meant to create and allow yourself to go on that quest to it's it's like this time like you're we're not the same person we're not who we used to be and i feel like the more we try to um ignore that or try to go back to sleep once we've awoken right it don't really work even sometimes when you wake up in the morning you, you wake up and you're like oh, i'm not ready to get out of bed and you try to go back to sleep it don't work this is that same type of energy that i'm getting here for you guys is that i feel like some of you have gone through a rebirth process and and it's cleared the way for you to now tap into the higher knowledge tap into your own inner wisdom that's going to help you on this quest that i feel like you guys are pursuing at this time your spirit's asking you to really tap into at this time and you know it's 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 kind of one of those things we just have to allow ourselves to really tap into that and trust the process trust the guidance that we're getting um but it's you know we have to allow ourselves to go through you know go through that that energy though so that's what i feel like you guys are, are embarking on at this time so let's see advice advice for Gemini's for April 2022. I pull these um, at the beginning, but we're going to talk about those at the end. So stick around because those have their own messages as well. So let's get into your general spread for April 2022 for the Gemini's. Spirit, what, we got? what is coming towards the Gemini's for April 2022? What do we need to know? Gemini's 2022 Okay. What's potentially challenging in this month? flipped over face down so I'm gonna leave it face down. Spirit, can we clarify? Ooh, interesting. Okay. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and clarify the outcome. How's it all playing out spirit? Let's clarify. I don't even know what that is yet, but we don't clarify it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's get into it you guys. So what you guys don't see is you're gonna that things are gonna work out okay um whatever hard work you've been putting in it will be recognized you will get the recognition the reward even if it's just for your inner work right you're you're choosing your own path really you know deciding like i'm gonna i'm gonna be better like it's time for me to step into my true authenticity my true um the best version of myself the highest most elevated most evolved version of myself it's time to step into that energy i feel like that's what you guys are stepping into at this time and um i feel like there's this you guys are in this energy of where you may be trying to take a step back where you feel i feel like there's fear here um there may be old ways of doing things old ways that aren't you know uh, be it um our fears limitations limiting beliefs um, behaviors, old thought patterns, things like that, that's really um, maybe trying to stop you, trying to infiltrate your path at this time. And that's why Spirit's saying it's time to really, you know, allow this rebirth to happen. I feel like you, some of you may be feeling stuck at this time, um, being tempted by old um, people, maybe old friends, old habits, old social circles, family dynamics, whatever that is to you. I feel like some of you are really in this energy of um you know knowing that things need to change wanting change but it's difficult you're you're i feel like some of you are really constantly being tempted by old patterns old things that we know we need to let go of old ways of being that we know we need to release and you know let fall to the wayside okay because what's challenging guys is the three of pentacles and the um destiny cards the will of fortune so I feel like some of you are like waiting for change but you're not understanding why change isn't happening and i feel like spirits asking that's what spirits asking you guys Spirit's trying to push you through rebirth and some of you are maybe trying to avoid this change avoid this you know things you know changing for your benefit it may not feel so good right and so i feel like some of you are really you know feeling tempted at this time with the devil energy here um you know by toxic patterns be it you know toxic thoughts toxic people 
just things overall that don't serve you really ego based ego driven energy ego driven things um that i feel like are trying to keep you from moving forward okay and that could be even our fears you know devil energy is also our fears for some of you this could be a capricorn energy that's um you know trying to keep you stuck trying to keep you bound trapped in old ways of being old ways of doing and it's, it's showing you maybe where you need to heal it's showing you where you need to make the changes where you need to allow um allow changes so we can see the changes that we want to see right because this is coming up like i said in the challenge energy here so let's see how it's all playing out though Ooh. is we have the nine of um swords with the nine of cups and the eight of cups so we have two nines here 99 all right so that's definitely um things that are ending i feel like some of you are maybe stressed out about you know how this is going to change how is all this going to happen and i feel like for some of you it could have to do with overindulging maybe drinking too much um smoking too much for some of you just doing something in excess doing something too much doing too much of something and i feel like um this is like energy of i need to walk away from this this is it's just not working anymore i feel like that's the spirit i mean the energy that some of you are coming to um this month if you haven't already experienced this i feel like this is what's coming obviously this isn't going to be for everyone this is a general reading for the collective gemini placement so wherever you have gemini this could definitely resonate with you but if it doesn't apply if it doesn't make sense it's obviously for someone else okay so don't take it personal if it's not yours but um for others of you things are changing things are you're getting something that you've been asking for you're getting the positive changes that you've been wishing for that you've been working for i feel but it's a matter of allowing yourself to come out of this you know hangman energy seeing maybe your addictions from a different perspective seeing it for what it's trying to show you not that it's trying to hurt you or that you're doing something wrong but maybe more so seeing it from a stance of things just need to change that I was maybe taught this, I was conditioned this way to think like this or have this certain habit because I've had it for so long. You know, it's it's just allowing yourself to see things from a different perspective to where you're no longer blaming anyone, including yourself. You're no longer blaming things for, well, it's your fault that I'm like this, it's your fault that I'm doing this or that this is this way. It's coming out of that energy and allowing yourself to shift your perspective about it and see how it's, it's you know, that things can change if you allow it, right? But you got to walk away from something okay so i feel like that's the energy you guys are coming into where it's like you may be stressed and and you know and really anxious about you know the changes that are being made or feeling like you're really stuck but this is spirit saying that maybe you're there's something you're doing too much of and i feel like for some of you it could have to do with drinking okay it could have to do with drinking <clears throat> overindulging right with this um devil and this nine of cups energy here that's giving me overindulgence vibes doing too much of something doing something in excess right and you know it's like but you're walking away from that and that's where we have the victory that you don't see coming okay the victory that maybe you you didn't know was waiting for you right the success being able to overcome that realizing that when we go from the five of wands the five of wands is you know can be conflict it can be drama but it can, but it's also a card of training meaning preparation prep for what you're asking for so i feel like for some of you that's what this is you know it's it's we're all the creators of our own reality however i really am getting that energy of with this being at the bottom of the deck this is what you don't see that you are going to come out on the other side of it but it's just requiring you to walk away from something it's requiring you to remove your emotion from maybe what's making you feel stuck what's making you feel trapped even if it's like a toxic family member toxic friends work environment whatever that is removing yourself emotionally from it walking away from it even if it's like completely all together or just simply removing the your emotions from it and seeing it as an observer not no longer absorbing the toxicity absorbing the negativity from it but just seeing it as oh, okay i see you for what you are separating yourself from the problem so you can actually see the problem for what it is and then it allows you to easily walk away from it where you don't long you no longer feel stuck bound and tied to it why because you allowed yourself to see it differently you allowed yourself to see it for what it's trying to teach you not for it trying to hurt you right so let's see what your money career finances look like for april let's see gemini's for april 2022 what do we need to know <clears throat> what is the gemini's for April 
I've already thoroughly shuffled and cleansed my decks before I even start recording just because I know some people don't care for all that but you know some people like to see it on camera so I'm trying to do both right find that happy medium so spirit for Gemini April 2022 reconsider a decision so there's something you guys I feel like um, regarding finances or maybe a business endeavor project maybe working with someone some type of partnership um that spirit saying to reconsider reconsider whatever it is that you're going to do if it was you know maybe to buy purchase a um um lisa lisa building or um i feel like start a project with something that you may be launching spirit saying maybe you need to wait on it not yet okay not yet because there's obviously still some stuff here that you need to release and it could this could definitely be fears that are holding you back from you know truly seeing the change from truly feeling like I'm being rewarded i mean recognized things are turning around in a positive way spirit saying that maybe you're not it's it's not you're not seeing it physically yet because there's still something that you're holding on to there's still some maybe fear um negative beliefs toxic beliefs thinking thinking that things won't work it's like spirit saying you're like your, your wishes are trying to be fulfilled but we have to move past something first so maybe maybe we need to wait maybe this isn't the right time maybe sometimes when we hear you know reconsider something or wait where we automatically assume that's saying no that's not always the case sometimes a wait isn't saying no it's just saying not right now okay sorry can i have one more let's reconsider a decision for gemini please for april what is reconsider a decision please Ooh. envy oh okay so maybe some of you might be this could be you okay take this as resonates don't get offended this could definitely be you or someone else but there may be some envy um, surrounding something that you're doing okay there may be jealous people around you and that could be what this what this um, this double energy is here is um, I feel like spirit may be putting something on hold or telling you to go about do something a different way because there's a lot of people around you that are not happy for you a lot of people around you that are envious of what it is you're creating so I feel like that could be what's causing some anxiety here is that you know things are about to turn you know that you're building something freaking amazing but there there may be two people like people that are too close to you people that will probably maybe completely destroy what you've created until you walk away from them okay so i feel like you'll know if this resonates you'll know where this fits but you know like i said that's not going to be for everyone so but for some of you there's people that are maybe don't have your best interest they're they just see what you're creating and they're jealous because they haven't done the work they haven't put in the effort or they don't have the idea they don't have the talent whatever it is that you're doing it's like it, it can turn and it is going to be successful it will be seen you will get the recognition reward but it may just not be right now or it may not be in the way that you think it should and that's not always a bad thing some a lot of times that's for your protection okay when we like like god i put in all this work and i want things like why isn't this happened yet why isn't it popped off yet why isn't you know what i'm saying but sometimes that's why because if there's other energies that will destroy like completely bring down whatever you've created that's why spirit's saying wait that's why spirit's saying reconsider maybe the launch date maybe reconsider who you're working with or who what company you're um planning on publishing through or whatever that is for you reconsider that because there's people that may be envious of what you're doing low-key they don't have your best interests in mind so therefore that will damper put a damper to the energy of you know it being presented to the right people being presented in the right light right so envy says you could be envying other people's financial success try not to live beyond your means just to keep up with the others others could be envying your success be careful who you trust with money matters so this could definitely also be you guys okay i wasn't going to go there yet but it's here so it's like i feel like some of you are definitely building there's um maybe a collaboration that you're that's going to be very successful for you but i feel like some of you are there's there's some type of toxicity here and this could be ego driven this could be your own ego you know wanting to be a multimillionaire but not really having you know the proper plans in place to you know manifest something like that to maintain that type of lifestyle so you know this is where we have to you know let go of some things go ahead and go through that rebirth energy and really get real with ourselves about what we're asking for what we're creating for ourselves and make sure that we're that whatever we're asking for isn't coming from a place of oh i want what they have i want it because they have it you know i want fame because they could have it. i want to manifest this because manifesting looks easy that requires us to do inner work that requires us to really tap into our inner wisdom tap into our higher self to really manifest you know from a true place right not just from what's tempting what looks good right so spirit what's challenging for Gemini's this month in their finances 
spend money. Let's charge you guys this. Oh, way too many. Risk. Okay, spirit, clarify risk. So some of you may be taking a risk that maybe you're not um, exactly in the place to take. It may be not the best. It may not be the best time for you to take that type of risk. And like I said, I, I said this with the collaboration. We have partnership here at the bottom. So this could have to do with the partnership that maybe you're debating on um, taking a risk and working with. But I feel like this is where you're, maybe you're feeling challenged. And it could be because this person is toxic. Maybe you deep down know that they're envious. You deep down know that they are um, that they don't have your best interest in mind or they're low-key, you know, envying your talent or your success. And that's why Spirit is saying, if you want to grow, if you want things to turn around and really, you know, have something to build upon, this is, I feel like for some of you, this is saying reconsider that. And if you've been having like inkling of maybe this isn't the best person to work with, but maybe this is all that, you know, this is all I got right now. This is the only option presented to me. Don't feel like that's the only option, okay? Sometimes that's what's required. You need to walk away from something, even if it feels like you're making a mistake. If you're being guided to do it, do it and trust that the universe is setting you up with a partnership that's better, okay? Learn from the mistakes that you've made. Learn from what it's trying to teach you and know that the universe is sending you someone better, someone more equipped that are really bringing the success here because even at the bottom of this deck, is the um, Deception Envy card. So this is coming out twice, all right? So this is for some of you, or if this is not you, this is someone around you that maybe you're trying, you know, trying to work with or have been working with, they're low-key jealous of you. They're low-key jealous of what it is, whatever it is you're creating, whatever it is that you're building. And that's why you guys are feeling challenged and feeling like things are changing. Maybe with this collaboration, someone that you're working with, someone that you're building with or trying to build something with, okay? there's It's, it's coming up here for a reason, so. And the fact that the message has repeated itself already, it's like, you know, take heed, okay? And then we have rescuer. Someone may enter your life to help you resolve any difficulties you're experiencing. What did I just say? I didn't even read this yet. But what did I, I just said that. That sometimes when it's, when Spirit's telling you to reconsider something, we think that, oh, I just need to, I need to work with this person because it's the only person I have that knows this stuff or whatever. Don't limit the universe like that. Don't limit don't put your limits on the universe and how it can help you and how god whatever it is you believe in okay don't put your limitations on the universe all right and how it, and the the opportunities and the possibilities that are that are possible you know that are possible to come to you right don't limit yourself that way consider careers as a firefighter paramedic or any rescue or heroic profession Asking for help is not a sign of weakness, quite the opposite. It shows your strength, absolutely. So this is asking for what you need, okay? Some of you may be scared, this may be part of the risk, is asking for help, asking, you know, someone that maybe you don't wanna ask, maybe because you know they'll be jealous, or for others of you, because you're trying to get away from someone that you know is low-key envying your success, envying what you're doing. So some of you need to go ahead, even though it's stressing you out, and you know, but you're gonna be happy that you did it. I feel like that's what's going to bring in wish fulfillment because you walked away from a partnership that you knew really low-key was jealous of you, okay? So you'll know how that fits if it fits. All right, so we're about to claim out for Gemini's, we're going to money for finances, we have charity, we have charity. So some of you may be gifted, um, some of you may be gifted an opportunity that you didn't see, that you didn't think was possible. Somebody may be literally helping you and be like, yo, I see what, you, I see what you're what you're doing I, and I want to invest. Like I have the capital, you know, I just never seen a talent like that. So don't, like I said, don't close off the possibilities that, that the universe is trying to bring to you, okay? Um, some of you may, this may, this help may come through by you just doing something for free, giving your time, effort, or energy, maybe if you get an inkling, like, you know what, let me help that person, you know, that I'm, that I see struggling right there. Sometimes that is easily a catalyst. Like some people, I would like watch certain, I don't even watch TV. I haven't for like years, but when I have seen like, um, pieces of shows or something like that, that someone's told me about or whatever. And it was like, um, where like somebody was pretending like they were having a, like a, a problem just to see who would help them. And they end up giving them like a million dollars or some shit, like randomly on some, um, on some, I just wanted to see if you would help me because you were closer because you were right there and they get blessed because they, they took the time to help. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you never know. My point is in saying that is to say, you never know who the universe is sending your way to help you, to benefit you where you were struggling. 
being but it requires you to change your outlook okay it requires you to really change your thought process change how you view things and we already talked about that earlier with the um hangman that was the first card out right seeing things from a different perspective seeing it shifting your perspective in a way that helps you and benefits you instead of you know hurts you and keeps you stuck keeps you in fear keeps you in lack right keeps you you know in this energy of you know being jealous maybe of of other people's success instead of being able to focus on your own or having you know others being jealous of your success because of you needing to leave their asses alone right so we have charity and outlook so charity says see where you can give more of yourself to helping others and make a difference humanitarian work human rights justice or advocacy work could be right for you donating can help create positive energy around you and attract more abundance and then we have outlook improve your relationship with money to help grow your wealth you may have conflicting values that impose negatively on your values around money change behavior and develop better money habits yeah so some of you like i said this could also have to do with for those of you that are like maybe living outside of your means this was talking about that earlier um where your ego gets too or if we're too ego driven and we're like i just want money and blah 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 because you know of you see other people and it seems easy you don't know what they've done to get there you know what i'm saying like you don't know their journey where it looks like it happened overnight but it's like nah, this has been a process even for myself where things are finally turning around i'm like holy shit and people think like oh she's just lucky or she's just spiritual and it's like nah y'all don't know how many nights how many months i was on stuck mode in this hangman energy mode because the universe forced me to go through a rebirth the universe forced me to tap into my inner wisdom and show me where i was fucking up showing me where i was you know um blocking myself essentially right so as we you know start doing better changing our outlook on our finances changing our outlook on our circumstance that's where things you know what i'm saying you open up that door to new opportunities you open that door to abundance that we all have by divine right by birthright right so let's see what's going on in love for gemini's I did see the sun and the six of cups so some of you may be um connecting with the soulmate energy um this could be something that may be coming to the surface or coming out about your past or someone from the past okay this could be someone coming back around from your past that you know is going to make you really really happy this could be a brand new opportunity um this could be just you know simply enjoying life you know being happy being around your kids right all right, what's going on in love gemini's oh shit ten of pence who else got this in love i think capricorn's got this in love so if you have capricorn in your chart i would check that reading out as well so some of you are in this energy of really just enjoying yourself enjoying where you are i feel like some of you may have what you want as far as um you know relationships love but money is kind of funny right so that's not going to be for everyone but you know let's clarify spirit what's ten of pence and if you're not experiencing this, this is what's headed your way. But for some of you, it's it's you can't see past it. Page of Swords. So this could definitely be um, people from the outside watching you, like looking at your life and they're envying you. Like I said earlier, this is that envy card. Okay. So the Page of Swords, it could definitely speak of information, um, ideas, ideas that are coming to you in regarding having everything you want. Okay. This could be something that you're visualizing, like, you know, thinking about how your life would look how your love life how what type of you know love life you want what that looks like for you if at all right um but for others of you i feel like this is people from the outside watching you looking at you seeing your your relationship or seeing what you have and they're envious of it they're envious of it and you know and that could be making you feel stuck and trapped because of people's negative energy that they're pushing your way if you're not guarding your own energy and protecting yourself and making sure you're rising above you know um when you're feeling low or feeling down or feeling all melancholy and shit you got to rise above that that's how you bypass negative energy that's sent your way you have to rise above it therefore you're not on that same frequency right that's how you dodge the bullet if you're you know not at the at that place at that time it, it'll it'll miss you it has no choice but to miss you right so i feel like that's what this is it's and, and again even though these are all you know the spreads are different general um money and love it's all interconnected okay so while we think sometimes that oh well this is my love that's not doing my money you, psh, bullshit one can easily affect the other so and, and it's showing it right here with this envy card i feel like people are watching you 
people are feeling like you have everything you want and people are watching you and keeping an eye on you okay people could be gossiping about you talking about you this could be you know petty communication okay um people just seeing seeing what you're doing feeling like you have everything that you want even if you don't feel like that that may be how it looks you know on the outside so let's see what's um challenging gemini's in love what's the challenge for gemini's what is potentially challenging you Ooh. yeah did y'all see that just flip out like that so the ace of cups flipped out in reverse so this could definitely be for some of you a breakup okay um, for others of you, this is just feeling like, where's the love? You know, like I have all the money, I have what I need, or I, you know, it looks like I do, but there, there really isn't a love here. Where it's like you've established something, but the love isn't gone. The love is gone. Okay. And if that's the case, it's like you got to cut your losses. You got to learn that, you know, we're not, we're not going to stay the same. Nobody stays the same. If you're not growing, that's a problem. And to me personally, where I'm at in my life now, if I'm with someone who isn't growing, who doesn't want to grow, you're not for me. And I know that I'm not even attracting that type of person because that's not who I am. We attract who we are, not what we want. We attract who we are. So if we're attracting anybody, um, just know there's an aspect of you. If there's a part of there you don't like, there's an aspect of you that is showing you what you need to work on or what you need to release, what you need to heal, you know, whatever that looks like for you. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, it's like there's there's no love here where you just either you're not feeling it or you're you're lacking that love for yourself to where your partner isn't reciprocating that to you either. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Spirit, what's the Ace of Cups in reverse? The Ace of Cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles. This could have to do with a younger um, Earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Okay. I have Cancer energy here, Air energy. I feel like you're 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 focused on your money you know it's like you want a new beginning of money where it's like I'm not I can't even worry about love I feel like for some of you you're just not even worried about love right now where it's like you know you're you're too worried about maybe having you know this ego having a life that maybe others can envy others will you know will want to where you're not even focused on love okay and that's for some of you for others of you it's like don't let your love for money ruin your relationship and remove the love you know just for you know what i'm saying if that's obviously to each his own you know whatever you, it is that you want i'm just saying don't let the love of money and trying to live a life that you really aren't supposed to have or a life that you're trying to create but really not ready for don't fuck up you know the things that can really help you get there just by you know trying to live a life that you're not ready to live yet right some of us, you still have some work to do. You still have, you know, this rebirth energy to go to and really tap in to your inner wisdom, really tap into your higher self and where you're being guided and what's and why things are happening, how it's happening. It's for a bigger purpose. But if we're ignoring that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you're going to miss it. <laughs> so let's see. How's it playing out? Everybody love. And you looked out, Gemini, so I haven't clarified for anybody else but you guys. So, Six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah. I feel like you guys are just, you know, you're focused on... This could be a soulmate energy, but I feel like you guys are just... You're focused on yourself. You're focused on your money right now. Um, for some of you, it's like your you're to your anxiety regarding money and your finances or whatever this life is that you're trying to create for yourself. It's like that could be overshadowing... Um, you know your love life at this time i feel like for some of you it's like i'm not even worried about love i feel like you may have your eye on, on someone from the past um this could be someone from the past that's wanting to come back or trying to be a part of your life this could be someone that you're walking away from someone you have kids with for some of you i feel like maybe just you're realizing that you know what love is gone and maybe some for some of you i'm hearing like you've created such a life for yourself to where it's like you're starting to see the envy of those that you love those that maybe your spouse this could be for some of you a soulmate energy someone you have kids with that is maybe low-key envious of your success don't don't get it twisted like even the people that we're with that you would think like yo my success benefits you too why would you be mad you would be surprised a lot of spouses envy their partners as well for their success so you know what I'm saying? I feel like for some of you, it's like maybe you're realizing, you know, the love isn't here anymore. So let me just focus on my money. All right. 
and that could be what's challenging you is just coming to that realization coming to that like sitting with that truly and realizing like damn things need to change something needs to change here and it's you know it's like I feel like you're realizing like you know maybe looking back at the past and how things were and you're just like you know what I miss being single I miss you know just being able to depend on myself and for some of you you're walking away for that reason like I'm just better off being by myself I'm better off you know focusing on myself and my goals and you know my independence regaining my independence for some of you four swords this is you know retreating that that healing you know allowing yourself to take a break take a step back and really you know determine what's best for me what do i need to do what do i need to do at this time that's going to benefit me the most right that's going to benefit if for those that have kids what's gonna what is the best course of action that's going to benefit you know my kids how am i you know what do i need to do to set them up for success right and i feel like that's what some of you are just focused on where it's like you know what I, I love you, but I need to I need to focus on this. Or some of you may want love, but you're you know it's like I need to build a legacy first. I need to have my my finances established first. I need to first you know it's like some of you I just feel like aren't really focused on love. You're like I need to I want to build my empire and and do you know put my ideas into motion, right? Do the research I need to do, get the information and the guidance I need to build this, right? And the love will follow, right? So I feel like you, I feel like for a lot of you Geminis, your just love isn't really your focus this month, to be honest. Um, if it is, I feel like it's, it's something that for some of you, it's not for others of you. It's like something that you've been in, you've been involved in, and you're kind of realizing like my partner low key envies me. My partner is low key jealous of my success. And that's why it feels like, I feel like you guys aren't getting the changes that you see, the things you feel like you're not getting rewarded. And this could be your partner, right? not building, not wanting to build with you, not wanting to grow with you and elevate and change, right? Because the um, destiny talks about divine intervention, changes, things needing to change, thing that's the only constant is change. So we're, if we're not, you know, changing, we're not growing, right? And I feel like that's where some of you are feeling challenged where it's like, you're wondering like, why isn't this popping off? Why isn't this successful? It's low key because you got the people around you that are envious of you, be that a, a partner, a spouse, friends, um, someone that you're working with, whatever that is for you, you'll know and, and it's like you need it's time to make a different decision that could be what this is about here reconsider a decision because obviously there's something here that's affecting your finances whether it's you your personal blockages and needing to change your own outlook and walk away from old ways of doing old ways of thinking that aren't benefiting you anymore it's just it's outdated it's toxic we need to let it go right it's ego driven you'll know where that fits so all right, Spirit, what's the advice for Gemini's for April? So we have breathe, mirror, and follow my joy. So yeah, and I, and I get that with this energy as well. So this is that take the time out for yourself. Really, like I said, tap into your inner wisdom. I feel like for some of you, it's like your Spirit's really asking you to take a step back, especially with the hangman energy as well. That's putting yourself in that hangman mode, in that energy of let me take a step back. Let me reevaluate. Let me really see where I'm at with this and then you know go from there allow yourself to just breathe into the now and know that things are going to work itself out but we need to take that step back to really assess what's happening here right and knowing that you know the mirror it's it's like we need to change our own thought process we need to change our own outlook on things which is again outlook changing how we see things with the hangman energy as well it's like interesting how three different decks the messages are kind of repeating themselves here so mirror, like I said earlier, the mirror is like there's aspects of you that we don't like, but it's there to show you where you need to heal, where you need to improve, where you need to make the changes, right? So don't always discount it and write it off as, oh, you know, that's not me. No, it's all showing us all parts and aspects that we have within us. If we don't like it, you always have the ability to change it. You know, you don't need to ridicule yourself for it, though, right? And just do the things that make you happy. Follow, tap into the parts of you that make you happy and let that guide you that's in that inner wisdom you know tapping into your inner wisdom will show you where you're supposed to be going what you're supposed to be doing that's really true to you and you'll know because it feels good it feels a lot you'll feel the difference in you doing stuff just for the looks of it versus you doing stuff because it's true to who you are it's true to you from this rebirth energy really tapping into the quest that you've signed up for in this lifetime right so for breathe we have it's easy for me to return to the present moment simply by breathing if i'm feeling anxious what i say if i'm feeling anxious worried or worried i close my eyes and breathe in deep 
deeply as I picture myself filling up with white light. Then exhale, envision stress and tension leaving my body. In this moment, I am free to gently stretch and open my eyes feeling refreshed. Yes, taking that time out for yourself because it's not as bad as it may feel sometimes. But if we don't ever take that time to let, you know, let yourself breathe and, and find your center again, it's going to feel like shit's just falling apart left and right. I, pr I promise you that. I've been there, done that. So just trust me. <laughs> we have mirror. In order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I'm open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new shifts. We already talked about that. Changing our perspective. That's showing up with this outlook card here in finances and in the general sped at the beginning. That was the first card out was Hangman talking about looking at things from a different perspective, right? So those are three cards that go in a kind of like in a diagonal row here talking about the same thing so that's a clear indication for somebody take that as it resonates it's not going to be for everyone but clearly there's something that we need to change within so we can change without right and we have follow my joy today i will write down 10 things i enjoy doing the things that make me feel good and raise my mood then i'll pick one or as many as i feel guided to and go do it when i'm having fun and enjoying life i'm in a state of allowing for all that i desire absolutely we don't need to force it anything we're trying to force is only going to create resistance and it's just going to push it further away from you facts like any true manifester can tell you that and i'm one of them so let me just tell you like the more we push and try to hold on to and cling to whether it's things that we want things we're creating people opportunities whatever it is you're holding too tightly you're only going to kill it right so it only creates more resistance towards it so we just got to learn to go with the flow tap into our inner wisdom and where it's guiding us and just flow with that and things will start you'll see how things will start to unfold piece by piece little by little moment by moment it's it's we make things so much more complicated than what it needs to be and i've learned that the hard way i've learned that for myself that's nothing i read in a book i, I learned that through experience and experience will always be your best teacher so anyways gemini this is what i have for you for the month of april i hope you got some guidance some clarity some insight to your situation um that was able to benefit you on your path to your highest good so if you guys like the video, please give it a like, sub to the channel if you haven't, and until next time, you guys.